An animal spirit guide is any animal that shows up in an unusual way or repeatedly. And that animal could be the physical animal or it can be a symbol of that animal. The world itself is talking to us at all times and especially through these animal spirit guides. It's just a matter of learning how to listen. Listen with your eyes, your ears, and your senses. Once you've asked the question, then you pay attention to whatever shows up. And that's could be what you see, what you hear, what you feel, thoughts that come into your mind. Wolf is an incredible guardian. I call on Wolf all the time when I'm doing my radio show or when I'm doing a workshop or when I feel the need for extra guardianship or protection. Wolf is an excellent teacher. We can learn about loyalty. We can learn about community through the spirit of Wolf. We, we learn about how um, incredibly protective they really are, especially towards their young. Um, also playfulness, that's one thing that comes through in, with wolf spirit. So if you are, uh, if you, uh, are given a message from wolf spirit, like uh, I talked about, those are the kinds of things that wolf spirit might be addressing with you. Is, for instance, you are protected, that might be one message, or that you, you need to get yourself involved in your family a little bit more. Uh, or you just assuring you that you are protected and you are safe. Another is that Wolf is teacher, meaning there's some important lessons that are coming your way, so just pay, pay closer attention. Raven, Raven, uh, who's cousin to Crow, and uh, in my neighborhood I don't see a lot of ravens, I just uh, see a lot of crows. Uh, crows tend to be more social. We see them in groups, etc. And they just seem to be much more common. And ravens are a little bit rare. Uh, was visiting some friends in Flagstaff and I happened to see some ravens there and I could see the distinct differences. The longer nose on ravens, uh, the way that ravens fly, they fly with their tails straight. Crows tend to fan their, ta uh, their tails and also ravens tend to be a bit larger. That's the bird. As far as raven spirit, think the word magic. Raven is about bringing from the darkness into the light that which needs to be revealed and to be seen with the light of awareness. It's also about um, omens and messages, meaning that when you see raven or crow in an unusual way or repeatedly, um, what you, you're being asked to do is look for other messages that are going to show up in the very, very near future. And that's... that's um, what a crow or raven will help you with discerning what those messages are but it really is kind of putting in say put your radar up because there's messages coming your way and again often through repetition might be something you hear on the radio something you see on the TV that has absolutely nothing to do with animal spirit guides but through repetition you're going to get the message it's a matter of just listening <laughs> Uh, Chief Dan George, who was in the movie Little Big Man, if you remember the elder Native American in The Little Big Man, had a wonderful quote that uh, I, I put into my book Animal Spirit Guides. And it's basically, he said, if you talk to the animals, they will talk to you and you will come to know them. If you do not talk to them, then you will fear them.